right, now if we look under the bed, you'll see this little hobbit door. No, it's not for the house elf. This is my extra closet. So this is where all your extra storage goes. Check it out. Bed, closet, tiny closet room. Hey. So that's where I put all my luggage and all my extra clothes and all my stuff. Mostly hang stuff for work. So there you go. Look at that. Pretty cool. And if you come to visit, you can stay here. I got room. Look at that. You could totally fit a tall dude in there. I'll even move my laundry out of the way for you. So come to Japan. Come visit. Sleep in my crazy little closet. Alright, next I'll show you the outside, but there's really not that much to it. And now it's dark, so I can't really see too much, but let's try anyway. Let's unlock the door. And let's go outside. Okay, here we go. Japan! Huh. Yeah. It's dark. Here you can see one of the um, arms that holds uh, a drying rod. So the rod goes through here and here. And uh, you hang your clothes from that, and that's how they do in Japan. Ah, here's the long view of my apartment. Look at that. It is just cozy and cute and so inviting. Who wouldn't want to live in a studio dorm apartment like this? Well, so that's how I'm living here in Japan in a little old suburb called Abiko, Tenodai Station. And when they say live in large, well, I'm about the largest thing that's living in this area. So, that has been the apartment. Hope you enjoyed the tour, and uh, stay tuned for more adventures from Japan. Sayonara! Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What? The bathroom? Uh, how did I forget the bathroom? Come on. It's the best part of living in Japan. Now, of course, please remember that when the Japanese say bathroom, they mean bathroom. And when they say toilet, they mean toilet. And I just have one toilet room behind this door. Oh, and look. That's all you get, people. Wait, here we go. Toilet room. But you know what? I gotta tell you. What a toilet. Meet the superior toilet. Okay, the first thing you may notice aside from this little arm, we'll get to that, is this thing up at the top. This is called a washlet. A washing toilet. So, you use the toilet, and if you want to wash your hands, you do so through this little faucet thing up here. Let's get another angle. There we go. Uh, now the flusher has two settings. Up is regular flush, and down is if you just want to wash your hands. So either way, you're going to get water coming out of here. So it's actually pretty efficient as far as water usage goes. Uh, they know that everybody washes their hands. So you do your thing, you flush, and as it refills the tank, water comes out of the top. Flush. Hey! There you go, look at that. Smart. Oh, it's done. Okay, reason number one why when I leave Japan I would like to order one of these seats for my home. Um, 
it's heated. It's an actually heated toilet seat. And you may think it's extravagant and crazy and those nutty Japanese, but let me tell you, in winter, it is your best friend. Second best reason to have this toilet seat, this amazing high, technolo high technological wonder, is this arm doohickey coming off the side. Yes, it is not just an arm. No, it's not an armrest at all, really. But you will see it has very complicated controls. This, my friends, is what I call the bum washer. Let's learn about the toilet seat and the bum washer. Okay. We have controls for, let's see, here is, let's start over here, bidet. You, you uh, put this on in the morning and it'll make you say bidet, mate. <laughs> Next we have the actual bum washer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This is very important. This is stop. Stop. All right, down here is water pressure. Focus, use. Why are you there? So, for the water pressure, down here is weak. Down here is strong pressure. We don't need a lot of strong pressure blowing water up. You know what I'm saying? We don't need that kind of thing. Doesn't need to. You know, I'm not trying to refinish my deck or my poop deck. Over here are controls that I think have to do with uh, temperature, but I really don't mess with them. Everything's fine. I don't need to risk injury or burns. Okay. Now, I've never done this before, and it could get a bit messy. No, no, it's not what you think. Come on, come on, think. I'm going to show how the bum washer works without actually sitting on it, of course. Come on. Let's be tasteful. But, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this thing to... We'll have amazing uh, Bellagio-style uh, fountain in my house. I believe what we have here is an infrared sensor. So I cannot activate the bum washing system with this uh, sensor being uh, not detecting a bum on the heated seat. Feel that? It's awesome. So, let's try and beat the system. Bum washer on. Oh snap, here we go. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> well, um, okay, I hope you enjoyed the tour of my home and toilet. I know I did, and uh, like I said, stay tuned for more adventures from Japan. Those truly, Ed Sensei. <laughs>